Hello and welcome to this Blitz uh, Report Toolkit uh, tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at, or, or at least in this part, we'll be looking at uh, the AWR database tuning and audit functions, um, some of the concurrent uh, request reports, and, and there's also patch control to be looking at. Um, so let, let's just start by going into the application. Blitz Report is installed on all of the menu trees. Um, you, you can also install it within the form itself. So we want to have a look, for example, at the concurrent requests. Uh, we can run it simply from within the form itself. The, these are all very simple forms personalizations. Uh, within the concurrent analysis, you've got a you know full expected uh, set of parameters. For example, whether things have been running, uh, waiting, etc. Uh, how, how long they've been waiting for what phase they were in. You can multi-select values here by selecting uh, this box, for example. So, you know, if you wanted to pick up complete uh, and running, for example, you could certainly do that. And then down at the bottom, if you want to schedule this, I mean, it's typically something a DBA or a support person would schedule. Uh, you've got the incremental alert. So it will give you the delta in problematic uh, concurrent requests. Uh, since the last runtime, so if you're running, let's say, every two hours, you would get then the changes uh, in problems that, that have occurred within those two hours by just setting this flag here. So um, that's, uh, if you like, that's the the, the menu. Uh, it's all the, the same uh, form style as uh, Oracle EBS. So um, I'm in as a developer, so I've got the ability to write reports, but obviously if you're a straightforward user, you wouldn't have that button. Um, you can change your views, uh, as I showed you in the, uh, in the overview at the beginning um, of the toolkit. You see here we've got uh, all the different columns here. You can multi-select. It's very like folder technology. You can just shift left and right or up and down uh, to move around. So if I would go ahead and run this report, um, it will give us the analysis of all the concurrent requests that have occurred within those uh, last few days uh, based on how many days you've set in the in the parameter. I'm not sure how many days I put in there. Oh, I think I'm going to get everything because uh, I said started uh, within uh, null days. So this one could go on for quite some time, but it's um, it goes through um, uh, directly through the concurrent process. So you can see here it's running. Uh, and if we were to look at the running requests themselves, so if I do another query here, you'll see uh, this very large uh, report now is, is basically going to churn out and go through the concurrent process. Anything can be scheduled. The key advantage here is that you've, uh, you've only had to register one concurrent program, and that's done during the installation process. Uh, and that's called Blitz Report. So then it simply uh, um, basically puts a, a prefix of the name of the report um, in the actual uh, running report file. So you can fully schedule these. Uh, you, you just basically schedule from the Blitz Report itself. Um, so here's the output, gone, gone directly to a fully formatted uh, file. Uh, and I just want to show you a couple of things here. So um, one of the, the age-old problems is when you look at uh, concurrent requests, you can't really decipher, uh, you know, all these ones and noughts that, that are going on. Um, so we actually give the display values you see over on this column G uh, with a proper display definition. And I'll just uh, wrap that text so you can see what I mean. So instead of all these dots and dashes and numbers, we, we actually translate into meaningful numbers. And then across to the right, you've got all the usual things like conflicts, waits, uh, how long it was waiting. Uh, you've probably all got these scripts uh, you know, in your toolkit, but um, this is something that we can schedule you know, and create within a few minutes using the Blitz report functionality. So that's a very quick uh, overview of the concurrent request. You saw that that was launched from within a form. Um, but I can also obviously run them from the menu. Uh, so let's say if I close this and I just put up my top 10 list. Um, I created yesterday a issue within the database by running uh, a lot of jobs at once, uh, planning jobs, big, big uh, plan jobs, uh, which typically uh, could stress out uh, a small database. And on our system, we've only got a single uh, solid state disk. So it was quite easy to, to cause an impact here. So uh, let, let's just start by running uh, one of the DBA reports. 
the one I'm interested in is the system weight class. Um, so I just want to see how things, um, how long things were waiting. Uh, so if we have a look at this one, uh, this is a detailed variant. There is a summary as well. Um, this, the issue occurred yesterday. Uh, I could just uh, leave the default in there, which I will do. Um, it, it should come up with the report very quickly, like you can see, uh, by the day of the week. Now, the area in which we were struggling yesterday afternoon when I was doing the, all this, uh, if you like, uh, overworking the, the concurrent manager, you see here, we've got concurrency, uh, which is, is basically shot up. And here we've got uh, quite a lot of, of system uses, usage here, uh, 38 minutes and five hours between these two time windows uh, we've got that and then you can see across to the right uh, what was actually happening in terms of uh, concurrency again uh, we've got all the weights uh, that you would expect um, so if if we just put this to one side and then we we run the next report which is the summarized version uh, of this I'll show you what I mean so if we now do DB and if I go into the summary one so basically now picking up the weight summary report um, again I'm probably interested well let's let's just select uh, the 12th of June because there's no point having all the, the wood between the trees uh, as it were um, let's pick up from the 12th around about three o'clock I think it was um, so let's run that and then we should see <clears throat> The summarized uh, story you see here at the top the, the worst performers um, with events of buffer busy weights and uh, library cache locks so there was something trying to write uh, and being held back uh, by the fact that there wasn't enough capacity to write the data to the disk uh, within that short short bottle bot bottleneck window um, <clears throat> so we can see straight away that we, we we've got a problem now we need to to further explore into that um, and figure out why we've got this issue so if we now switch over and um, have a look at uh, the SGA uh, report. So I'll just go across here and I'll kick kick off uh, an SP, SGA report. Uh, tuning is not really my forte, but um, with these reports, it's relatively straightforward to to figure out what's uh, what's going on. So if we look at the SGA blocking session, um, probably a, a good one if we look at the summary of that um, report. Um, and here we've got the ability to um, also add different you know, modules and module contains, etc. But I'm going to leave them with the, the window in question uh, that we were looking at. Uh, and I'll run this now um, and see what it looks like. Probably going to need to put uh, this into a pivot because it's quite a lot of data here. Um, so looking across here I can see standard module or standard manager popping up because it was a concurrent manager issue uh, and I can see the the weight class here uh, is is basically on concurrency and again we, we notice here that we've got the the busy uh, buffering IO situation so I, I'm going to insert um, I'm going to insert a a pivot table Let, let's do that that's probably the, the quickest way to to look at this i always find myself at least uh, put a pivot table in and we can really start to analyze things in, in an easier way i'll put a seconds uh, down here and then i'm going to put in the module name and we'll be interested in the event and then i suppose what we really are interested in is the, the blocking module uh, so let's grab that one as well um, and then we just want to okay we're summing up on seconds probably want to sort this in a in a different way so we can see what's really going on from largest to smallest and you see again here standard manager popping up uh, as a result of uh, log writer i would suggest uh, which is causing a bit of an impact there um, you see here we've got uh, quite some number of seconds there running 16 uh, 1600 seconds uh, which is uh, 
probably a, a small window of bottleneck where, where two things were contended with each other, um, which, you know, we can go on to analyze a, a little bit further. Um, but it, it certainly looks like uh, cannot write data or it's waiting for log writer. Um, you know, I see here down here, we've got the, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of repeated again and again. Um, these were the planning jobs, uh, as I can see down here. Um, so, yeah, looks like uh, what we need to do now is to probably look at the redo uh, log rate. That's probably the next report that would be a, a good way to drill a bit further into it. So if we just take the uh, DBA uh, log writer uh, report, let's see if I can find that. That should be in our list of values here. Um, I would say it's in a, the archive. Uh, redo would be what I'm looking for and that's probably the one that we should be looking at next so let me just uh, start that I'm not particularly interested in uh, this problem could have been repeated so let's just go back uh, 10 days um, and then see what we've got here um, I can see straight away uh, I've got a, a busy amount of uh, megabytes per hour on Friday here I've got um, <clears throat> 20 27 gig of memory uh, being trying to be processed so <clears throat> probably again here is uh, yeah it's just really confirming that 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 was a really a, a pinch point between those those two times so you know that that's in itself for, for our single disk that's, even though it's solid state it's probably going to struggle with that amount of data um, so typically next uh, here I would probably go away and have a look at the uh, SGA uh, and we'll just nip across and uh, run the SGA report uh, and have a look at uh, what we see there so down here we've, we've, we've prepared a few SGA reports and really the one I want is the um, it's going to be the session uh, history I'm probably going to to need to look at so run the the, the session history um, and let's try and pick up a similar similar time to that so let's pop instead of seeing all this uh, massive data let's let's go from 1500 um, pop that in there and similarly I'm going to just take it up to 1600 here um, I would like to see the SQL text so I'm just going to say yes to that because I'm interested to see what SQL statement was running it will probably slow it down a bit but uh, let's start by running that and uh, it, I mean most things don't take too long with blitz report you can see it's running through the concurrent uh, manager there um, it pops us quite a detailed report um, you know we're, we're not so interested in um, certain events so let, let's just go across and, and filter uh, some of these out that we perhaps don't want because on, on CPU isn't really our issue so um, let's just take that out just to reduce the amount of data I've got in here um, so so far <clears throat> we can see here there's um, the 12th is is in view um, I'm just seeing if I see multiple occurrences of situations and I can see quite quite a pattern emerging here but let's go to the the, the time frame that we were interested in uh, like I said it was around about three three o'clock and you see here I've got quite a lot of the same occurring. Um, as we just look for a pattern that's been produced, I can see quite a lot of rows with the same timestamp uh, kicking in here. Um, so it looks like it was repeating quite regularly. So let's just uh, go down to the bottom and see if I can observe anything else. I see here standard manager again repeat repeat um, so yes we've got a lot of uh, repeating action all of the same moment so if we were to go across and have a look at uh, you know the actual uh, I'll just mark a section of these so we can not lose sight of them 
Uh, let's pop them across there. <clears throat> you see here the standard manager, and and if we now go and have a look at the actual SQL text that's being executed, I'll just wrap that text and make that a bit wider for us. You see, it was um, probably trying to one of the concurrent processes was trying to do an update to running. You can see that uh, where it's trying to update to running. So it was obviously a wait, waiting or contending with, with a num number another process that was running and I think we've conclusively proved that a lot of that is down to uh, the disk uh, that was basically having trouble uh, buffering through the IO. Um, so that really concludes just a, a few of those reports. Uh, there are many uh, other reports. One, one of the favorite ones uh, that, that development teams tend to run is the SQL performance summary uh, because it, this is really good at finding you uh, the name uh, sort of of the package that's run also um, one of the key factors here is it will give you the actual line of the code uh, we, we, you know which is quite good for a DBA when there's been a lot of developers making new reports or functions um, to be able to pinpoint uh, the exact uh, code that's that's in question and what module and then the there's the line so you can effectively go and give the SQL statement to uh, the developer who, who's involved. Um, and you can say, OK, it's this line of code. This is the one that's uh, using the most, um, or at least causing biggest problems for it. In fact, you can see here we've got lapse time. And then over here, we've got the IO. Uh, obviously, from top, top down, it's the, the slowest running. So that's the performance summary. Um, there are, like I said, many more within the toolkit. So, for example, uh, you've got the ability to look at uh, applied patches. And this is always something that you'd, you'd like to see what's uh, what's been going on. It's a, obviously there are standard reports from Oracle, but these are, are much neater prepared and directly in, into, in, formatted into Excel. Um, and here we can see immediately uh, what the patch history's uh, been. Uh, where they were applied and so on. So back to to um, application, just to, to recap, you can run the Blitz report from any any responsibility. I have developer function, so I have the ability to, um, to do setup. Uh, if we take any of these reports, the one I showed you, I launched actually within um, the form, F&D concurrent request form. Uh, if we you can also, uh, as I showed, well, as I'm about to show you, you can change the layout of any report by just simply uh, sort of folder uh, style functionality, and then you can, you know, move columns around and reshuffle the, the order and sequence. Something very good for the users. It's not it's not a, um, a development function. You can hide this, of course, if you, if you don't want the users to have it. Uh, but most of our users have got this. But what they don't get is the ability to uh, run SQL, uh, SQL. And these are all. Uh, we also follow the, you know, the the uh, policies uh, within the database. So, for example, if you don't want to develop it to CHR, you would just simply set the policy so that um, that, that they're not able to see any sensitive data. Um, so that concludes the. And, and I'll just take us back to to where we are. Um, so that's part one, if you like. Uh, I'm going to start looking at some of these other areas next. So support and migration, data migration, operational and time critical. So there'll be these will all be available on the Enginatics uh, YouTube channel. The first in this toolkit was just really an overview, uh, which is the, the prelude to, to what you've just seen. Um, so that, that's it really uh, in a nutshell. So I'll talk to you again in part two. Uh, and then